What's up? Today's a fun episode. Testing day up to an RPE 9. Before we test and hit some heavy weights, we're going to show you how we warm up for squats. You know, obviously, you got to get a lot of things kicking to get squatting right. You need that back loose, you need those hips opened up, you need to get that depth, you need that confidence. So, here we go. So, first up, this is one of my personal favorites. I do it many times within the day. It's called the 90 90. Um, so, basically, you just pretty much go uh, side to side. Obviously, 90 90 because there's a 90 degree angle with both legs. And it's great to be able to go in different ranges of motion because the hips are used to being so flexed the entire day. So, what we're going to start by doing after doing a bunch of passes, you just go up and down, moving in different ranges of motion, and then side to side. Give this one a try before you squat, or even just in between breaks at work, you're gonna feel amazing. So for me, I like to just do a lot of ballistic movement. You know, I don't like to do too many static things, so usually when I'll come down, I'll go top down. Uh, and to start, I'll kind of warm up the traps, get everything going. I'll warm up the back, you know, do some swings, get everything going with that, some arm rows, you know, I'll move my neck. For me, you know, I had to pull in my back, and that's something I've been trying to actively avoid. So by getting everything all warmed up, uh, it goes a really long way. And a big part of squatting is bracing, you know, how tight you can get that back, getting everything loaded up and maintaining that position in the squat. So I just find getting all loose and limber there goes a long way. Next I go into my hips. My favorite one is I call them frogs. I know they have a million different names, but I have this like kind of right angle similar to Kyle here. You know, I'm gonna plant my arms down, I'm gonna push in my hips, come forward. And this way I'm still in a ballistic movement, but I can really push, you know, get my hips primed for that squat movement that I'm pushing into. And past that, you know, I just like the good old cat cow. So you're gonna breathe against it. And I'm feeling all my vertebrae separate. I'm just getting that back warmed up and ready for battle, especially for me, like 500 plus pounds is a lot of compression on the spine. So to warm it up there, those are my favorites. So for me, as you guys will see later in the video, I do a super wide stance, so my hips get really beat up. And I know a lot of people probably feel the same way, so I focus on my hips a lot more in my warm up. I like to do a lot of leg kicks, pretty much just forward and back, side to side. You can add any types of bands to get more resistance, but another thing I like using is one of these little things. It's a slingshot, you know, not sponsored by them, but basically every single squat up until my heavier weights, I'm always pushing my knees out when I'm doing my squat. And another big thing is it's also super important to engage your glutes because your glutes are one of the most important muscle groups that need to be engaged when you do a squat. So by using this band is amazing, but you can also get onto the ground and I've been really liking just hitting some normal glute bridges to activate them so I can lift the most amount of weight and be as tight as possible. There's a million great things you can do, but where I see people go wrong is they'll spend 20 minutes, 15 minutes kicking their legs, doing banded stuff. They'll hit the bar and then they'll hit 315. Make sure you're doing your bites on the way up. So, you know, for me, even though we're, you know, veteran lifters, we've been doing this forever, we start with the bar, then we go to the plate, you know, then two plates, three, like I make sure to do these bites and climb maybe four to six times before hitting my max reps. You know, the best way to warm yourself up is by doing the movement, adding weight, adding load getting comfortable so don't forget that one hey wait buddy nice speedy that one felt good there you go Easy. Four eighty, four eighty on the bar. Up, oh, easy. That feels good. Feels good, eh? Do singles all day. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Yep, power, power, power. Felt what? slow, but... What'd you rate it? Um, I'd say like, a, like an 8.5. A little bit of lean back, but nothing crazy. Let's see what happens next. Come on, let's go. 500, let's go. Easy. Up, up. Nice. It looked harder than it was, but it just caught up. Jeez! A little, uh, a little bump in speed, but it feels like we'll go up again. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Chest up, chest up, drive. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So what is it out of 10? I'd say uh, still an 8.5. I mean, that looked like an 8 to me. That was crisp. Oh, yeah.
Speedy. Wow. wow. Holy. I'll give it an eight. Here's the thing. No excuse, we're still hustling, but even uh, my calves have been weird all week. I wanted to give it a little bit more time and I did it. Well, like the fact that I can smoke 513 very comfortably, you know, not peaked, not rested, it's reassuring, that's all, right? And here I'm not trying to overextend myself and do damage and ruin my next block, but I have a very good conception of where I'm at and you know, 540, 550 is very believable to me. I know how I work and how I peak up, but at least I have a very good conception of what I can hit on just a random day here and I'm getting concept for what's going on. Let's go, come on, focus, big breath, big brace. Drive, 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 easy. Oh, that was clean. So oh, much is left. Always feels a lot heavier than it is. Like, honestly, I know it was easy, but it just feels a lot heavier. To be honest, when I woke up this morning, I had three hours of sleep last night, I'm just like, there's no way. But a lot of it is mindset, you know? And it's so nice, similar to Josh, just knowing that even on your worst days, you can put up some decent weight, keep going. So that's why we decided to do the one reps, because we're like, okay, let's handle some decent weight to prepare us. We're about five weeks out, and it feels freaking amazing. So you guys be the judge of that on the intensity scale. I felt like it was kind of more of a nine, but Josh has reassured me that it was an 8.5. And I honestly, after looking at it and just how it felt, I'd agree. But if you want to ever see a true 10 on the squat, stay tuned for five seconds, because this was about last year, about 20 or 30 pounds lighter, 435 pounds. Check it out. Up, up, chest, 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 chest. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good man. Oh my god. Yep. Oh yeah. Up. Up. Oh, no arms. Imagine if I actually using my leg drive. Be banging the next song. Be a banger. Oh, the worst song ever. This last little five weeks, push through that. Okay. Push, 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 push. Easy. So it was a bit more than a nine, but I'll take it for 9.5. 9.5. There's five pounds in there. Well, PR action. Let's go. Like, comment, oh. subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It's fun, honestly. I'd say a lot of lifting just comes down to your mindset. Honestly, I really, if I just doubted myself, I wouldn't be doing the numbers that I'm hitting now, even though it's nothing crazy, but yeah, if you guys are just looking for some accountability, someone to help you get to the next level, someone to program for you, help you hit the numbers you've always wanted to hit, lose weight, gain muscle, whatever it is, we're your guys. First link in the description. Thanks for watching.